The video review will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video review, the link is provided on the page below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3DGameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Zygmatech Dark Knight SD1283 and this is the Nighthawk Edition CPU cooler. A darn fine looking box, lots of pictures of the product on it as well as features and specification important if you are picking it up in store. Also there's a clear window on the front. Let's have a look around the box. Ooh, pretty one security seal at the top I will cut that sometimes it's tricky cut it and then kind of push it back you see it is a little bit tricky I'll get to it lots of goodies inside a bag which has all kinds of mounting hardware in it here we have another bracket this looks like the installation guide and the cooler itself, oh this is the fan, and the cooler as well is packaged in foam so it won't be damaged. Now let me have a closer look at this cooler. Now they only include one 120 millimeter fan, however you can install two, one on either side of the cooler, and I would advise that if you're thinking about overclocking because Two is much better than just having one. You'll get a lot more air being pulled through these many fins on the heatsink. Now this particular fan has a four pin power lead and this would get connected into the motherboard's CPU fan header. This heatsink is completely and entirely black. It has this asphalt or matte black paint finish, the top, everything the fins, the heat pipes, the base, everything is black. Now, I prefer this matte black paint finish over the high gloss paint finish. And the reason is high gloss finishes, well, they attract dust and fingerprints very, very easily. Again, just have a closer look at this. It is gorgeous. Their logo there at the top, but very well done. As far as I know, this is one, if not the only, CPU cooler on the market that is entirely and completely this color. I like it a lot. The heatsink is comprised of many aluminum fins. It comes with three 8 millimeter heat pipes. Now, many coolers on the market these days will have four heat pipes, but a lot of them will have six millimeter heat pipes. Remember, this one has eight millimeter heat pipes, so it's just as good, if not better. Also, it has a nice, thick, solid base, and this base is copper. It has this HDT technology or heat pipe direct touch. All that means is the heat pipes basically touch the top of the cooler. Just have a closer look at it here. So this will make direct contact with the CPU. This is rated at 160 watts plus so you should have no problem using this cooler on just about any CPU that's currently on the market you could even use this for overclocking but if you're doing that make sure that you have two 120 millimeter fans installed. I'll list the dimensions and weight on the screen but to give you a better feel for the size let me put my hand in front of it. I have medium sized hands so you can kind of gauge the height of the cooler from that. It is pretty narrow as well. Make sure when you're getting a cooler that it's going to fit in your particular case. Installing a fan or fans on this heatsink is extremely easy to do. They include these little teeny tiny rubber adapters. They actually include eight of these so you can install two fans if you want to. All you need to do is just slip it in like so and it's grooved so we'll go into one of these you know fins here, the aluminum fins and they have this slot along the side so this part kind of just slips right into there. So you install four of these and then just basically place the fan on top and 
pull it up through. Now you could also install this on the fan first if you want to and then line it up and slip it in like so. Either way it'll work. Now personally when I install a fan or fans on a heatsink I try and always put the fans power lead at the bottom. This one. It kind of looks better. It will also give you that much more cable to work with. Now in some cases you might want to shorten this cable well in that particular situation you might want to orientate it a little bit different and you know somehow wrap the cable around the fan itself to disguise it and then connect it into either you know the motherboard cpu fan header or some kind of power lead finally have a listen to the 120 millimeter fan keeping in mind that this sound test is done with the fan at full speed What's not to like about this cooler? It comes with a quality 120 millimeter fan. The heatsink itself looks outstanding with that stealth matte asphalt black paint finish. Three eight millimeter heat pipes and the base is nice and smooth. Now speaking of the base, which will come in direct contact with the CPU, basically the heat pipes come in direct contact with the CPU and that works extremely well because it will take the heat, pull it right up into these many fins and then the fan or fans will then dissipate all of that heat. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. <laughs>